Michael Jordan's Bulls, the New York Yankees of the 1950s, this century's New England Patriots, all dynasties. You could add another team to that list of perennial champions. Young students from suburban Wooddale, they're excelling in math, science, and engineering. Yeah, just close the battery doors, guys, on the other three. The word is out. Yep. Yeah, you gotta kind of dab it on. These 12 and 13 year olds there you go. are a powerhouse. People are now starting to say, here comes Wooddale. Um, wow. Wooddale Junior High School. Three years in a row, winners of the regional Future City competition. Give me a little grass. Yeah, here. Once again, they're heading to Washington, D.C. to represent Illinois in the national finals. Did you get the tree in? Adelina is 12. Why do you think the Wooddale School has been so good in this competition? There are a bunch of reasons, but I think one of the main ones is that Mr. West encourages us and keeps us going even whenever things get tough. Only if you think the wires need it. Under the direction of teacher Dan West. Yeah, like not on the light, like on the wire. The team has excelled in finding solutions to vexing problems. At least try to take that one out. Displaying their mastery of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. This year, they're taking on climate change and global warming. We found a bunch of different ways to mitigate and adapt to climate change, such as we got rid of fossil fuels using something called quantum batteries, and we found so many different energy sources and ways to take CO2 out of the air and convert it into energy. Now they're taking on competitors. As we first told you a year ago, it is a grueling competition. Yeah, make sure we cover it. The students have to make a presentation, write an essay, answer tough questions from experts, okay, we're gonna have to re-glue all those on, and build a model of their future city. Dan West says this year that was especially impressive. You should have seen the eyes of the people when we brought that model in this year. They were awestruck. They really were. Adding to the pressure, this year they had to do all of that in person, face to face with demanding judges after two years of online presentations. I think the wires well, are pretty secure. Yeah. Alexandra is 13. Did you feel some pressure because of how well the teams had done in the past? Um, just a little bit. But it was pressure Wooddale Junior High conquered. I'm gonna do it on the bottom. They've learned to manage their time and sacrifice in an extracurricular activity. I'd come in during lunch, I'd come in early in the morning, I'd come in after school and I lost sleep and stuff like that, but it was all worth it in the end because I think winning that ended up being one of the best experiences I've ever experienced. The team is largely made up of girls at a time when schools and companies are making a big push we got it, Mr. to we got encourage it. young women to enter STEM fields. They've set a high bar for the rest of their lives. They've really pulled together and they really worked hard to get these goals done. That's a wrap. I couldn't be more pleased with the team and, and the way that they worked this year. They just did a phenomenal job. He should be pleased. The Wooddale Junior High School team heads to Washington, D.C. this weekend for the National Future City Competition. To hear them talking about science and engineering like that, way over my well, head. Way over my Hi. head. That's just what I was thinking, Eric. All that confidence, too. This is great.